Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Dylan. I teach skateboarding tutorials, product reviews, and all the things behind the scenes of our nonprofit skateboarding organization here on this channel. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make your skateboard instantly better. Check it out. One of the things you can do to make your skateboard instantly better is by changing out your bearings. And the bearings are the small thing inside of your wheel that makes your wheel continue to spin so that you'll roll faster and further. So the first thing you will need is a skate tool. You can have a T-tool or I use this independent tool. The second thing that you're gonna need is some new bearings, if it's time for new bearings. Um, for me, I always skate the Bronson Speedco bearings and these are the G2s, my favorite ones right here. The next thing you're gonna need is some Bones Speed Cream. So this not only lubricates the bearings, but it helps to make sure that they don't get rusted later and you'll go super fast after you put this in your bearings. For cleaning your bearings, I recommend this, any kind of um, peroxide or different just alcohol that you have that you can clean and get all the dirt, rust and grime out to your bearings. This is gonna be something you will need if you're cleaning your bearings and putting them back into your wheels. And lastly, you're gonna need your board. You can kind of see in here, my bearings are pretty dirty. I've been skating them for a long time, so we're gonna clean them. But I also have a brand new set of bearings, so we're just gonna go ahead and put those in and I'll show you how to do that. So there are multiple different reasons that your bearings can become slower. I'm gonna share three of them that are probably the most common, and one is if you skate in rain, if you get any kind of water inside your bearings, it starts to create rust, and that rust will get in the way of the ball bearings and it will make them slower. So if you skate in the rain, you probably will have slower bearings afterwards. Another thing that will make your bearings slower is if you get dirt or dust or grime in there. So if you're skating a spot that has a lot of dirt on it, um, for me, anytime that I skate my backyard mini ramp and I don't go through and I sweep it first, there's a lot of dust that gets kicked up. Or if you're out street skating quite a bit, it's easy to get a lot of dust and build up in your bearings and it'll slow down those ball bearings as well. And the third reason your bearings may be a little bit slower, the ball bearings may be misaligned. And I see that a lot in street skaters that are skating down gaps and their wheels are constantly hitting against the ground. If they do that too many times or if they do it just in the right way, it'll misalign those ball bearings and you'll see them eventually blow out and break. So those are the three most common things when you're looking at why is my skateboard going slower? Is there something wrong with my bearings? Those three things are probably the culprit. To clean or to take out your old bearings and put in new bearings, the first thing that you have to do is take your wheel off. And here's how you're gonna do that. So obviously you're gonna loosen up this nut right here. And the way that you're gonna do that is with a T-tool. So the way that you're gonna take off your bearing is first you need to take off the nut on top of the bearing. When you're doing this, make sure that you don't jam your skate tool all the way down onto the shield of the bearing because if you bend it, it can definitely break it. We don't wanna break these because even if we're putting new ones in, we can take the old ones, we can clean them, and we can reuse them later. That way if you put on new bearings and one just happens to break, you have some spare ones that you can set up. So you're gonna take your T-tool, put it on here, turn to the left, remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Cool. So as you can see right here, there's a little bit of dust and maybe some rust buildup. So good indication that it's time to take those bearings off, clean them and put some new ones on, or just clean them and put your old ones back on. So I've definitely recognized I've been skating a little bit slower and this is probably the culprit right here. So the next thing you're gonna do is take the bearing out of the wheel. And it can be a little bit difficult if you have brand new wheels. If you have some older wheels, they may have loosened up a little bit in there, but I would use the truck to do it. And so the way that I do it is like this. So I will take the wheel and just put it barely over the edge of the truck. And I'll use some leverage here, pull straight back. And you'll see it start to come out. And there it is. And you can definitely tell by looking at this bearing. Look how dirty that is. So definitely time to clean it. Like I said, we're just gonna replace it. So you're going to repeat that process four times. I always take those nuts off and put them right back on the truck. That way you don't lose them or they don't get misaligned with a different truck that they were already on. We've got all eight of our bearings taken out. And as you can see, they are pretty dirty, pretty grimy. So even though I'm gonna put new ones on, I'm gonna show you how to clean your old bearings as well. Um, because I will use these later for spare bearings in case uh, one of my bearings breaks or I need a new part, but maybe you don't have new bearings. So I'll show you how to restore these, be able to use them and they'll feel almost like new. You're gonna look for a bowl, kind of a smaller bowl like this. Make sure to dump those bearings in there. And then earlier we talked about having the solution. So this is 
essentially this is like a peroxide but it really is just something to make sure that we can get all that dirt and grime off of there so i'm going to use the rest of this in here hopefully it is enough to at least cover them you don't want to have too much but i think that's pretty good we've got enough on there so it's at least covering them i'll leave that to sit for about five minutes and then afterwards we'll take them off, put them on a paper towel, clean them off, and you'll be able to see the difference. So you can already see the bearings are starting to look a little bit more clean. You can kind of tell like this guy in the middle is looking a lot cleaner. So some of that dirt, it's hard to tell in this gray um, bowl, but some of it's starting to already come off. As soon as you take it out and set them to dry, clean them off, you'll see how much of that dirt and grime actually came off just in that five minutes. So I will take these out and I'll let them dry just for a minute. You can see on the paper towel, some of that stuff that's already in there, it's starting to get dried up. And then if you look here back in the bowl, you can see how gross that water is. So that's that dirt, that rust, and that grime that's already in there. Now that we've let it sit for a minute, you should be able to see this dust and this dirt come off super quick. So we'll use this guy for an example right here. You can see it's already looking quite a bit better, uh, but we're gonna wipe off. And there are multiple ways you can do this. I've seen people go through and just wipe them off. I've also seen people go through and do this to get the rest of the kind of water and everything out of it. And from there, you can see, like, look at that dirt. And you can see right there, it already looks completely different. Like this looks so much better. So um, we'll go through and we'll clean all of them off. I'll show you the before and after as soon as we get done. Okay, so we're gonna check in and I'm gonna show you the before and after the bearings and how they look now. So you can see they definitely look a lot better than before. Some of them still have a lot of grime on them. If you wanted to, you could spend a bit more time and you could make them look like this guy. Um, because this one's like pretty much all the way clean. But since I'm gonna put some new ones in, I think these are good enough. I'm gonna put these into our spare parts bowl that I keep in a drawer in our house. But you can already see I've replaced these two bearings before already. So the black one and the red one, they're obviously not the same Bronson bearings that I've had. And I've probably not put new bearings in my board for a year or a year and a half. And I definitely have not cleaned them. So for them to look like this is completely normal. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could take the time, you could make them all look really, really clean. Since I'm gonna put new ones on, we're gonna put these in the spare parts kit and keep it moving. To put on new bearings on your board, you're obviously going to need some brand new bearings. So make sure to go to your local skate shop. I always skate Bronson's. Uh, I honestly just love that they're orange. I like the way they look, but like I said, they last a really long time. The other set of bearings I had, I probably had them for a year or maybe a year and a half. I've never cleaned them. They lasted a pretty long time, so I'm stoked on that. So let's check out what's inside our little Bronson bearing box. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. All right, so these open here on the side and this guy goes down. You'll be able to see everything should come out. So in here we have our eight new bearings. This is what my other ones used to look like. So after a year and a half, it's crazy to think and just to see how different they are if you're not cleaning them often. And then you can also see we have some spacers right here. I'll talk through a little bit about what those are and the importance of them as well. One of my favorite things, a sticker. Look at that thing, pretty cool. Just a little, little sticker you can throw on your board. So people have different ways to put on bearings. This one that has the orange shield on it. And if you look really, really close, I don't know if it'll be able to focus and see you can see kind of a coating on there and that's because these already come pre-lubricated and ready to go. So we do have some speed cream. I'm gonna show you how to put that on there, but if you don't have some, when they're brand new, you don't have to worry about it. So these are the front. These shields actually pop off. I see a lot of skateboarders that'll take them off. It makes them quite a bit louder. Um, but for me, I keep them on. I love the way the orange looks. I love that this one looks the same on both sides. So sometimes you'll have a different logo on the front of the back. This one's just orange, so you can flip it around either way. But uh, let's put some speed cream on them and then I will show you how to put them in. Speed cream comes like this. You can see just simple bottle. Love that it says racing formula down here and then it comes with this guy as well. You're gonna make sure you want to use this when you're applying it onto the actual bearing. So the way it works, top of here, you screw this guy off. You take this guy, screw it right on. And then when you go to apply it, this lid will come off. And when you put this on here, you don't actually want to put a lot, really just a few drops and then spreading it around goes a super long way. So pro tip, it does come sealed. I know it's hard to see, but you actually have to go through and cut the top of it off. Be able to put on here, if you'll just go through, squeeze, that was way too much. 
But since you only have it in that corner, one of the things you could do, you could take your little lid, go through and just move it all the way around the bearing. And after we get it dispersed all the way around, that's similar to what you want. So it's all the way on there. It's gonna be able to set into it. You can kind of see if I move it a little bit, you see a little bit of it on there. So just enough to put a light coat on the top is all you need. And this is gonna help lubricate the bearing as well as protect it from rust and dirt. So when you're placing your bearings into your wheel, I will use this spacer and it's the thing right in the middle right here. The spacer helps keep both of the bearings in alignment so that the ball bearings will be in alignment as well. Nothing will get bent or torqued as long as that is there. So I use them on all my boards, some people don't. I just think it's another precautionary thing to make sure I don't have to uh, change things on my board. I wanna be able to pick up my board and go skate every single time. So anything I can do to make sure I don't have to change stuff is perfect. Let me show you how to put these in. So you can still just use your truck for leverage. So I'll take the bearing. Normally if there's a graphic side out, I'll put it out. But since this is the same, you don't even have to worry about it. So these already have speed cream on them. They're ready to go. Put them on here. You're gonna take your wheel. I'll do the outside right now. You can see mine's kind of coning to one way. So we're gonna flip it around. And uh, this is gonna be the outside and this will be the inside this time around. So we're gonna go in, press here. Make sure it's on just like this. And then I'll use both hands and kind of use the palms of my hand to press straight down. And just like that, you hear it click in. Give it a good spin to make sure that your wheel is straight. If it's not, you'll see it'll move back and forth when it spins. But this one, good to go. So now we're gonna take that same wheel, take it off. And we're gonna flip it over. And this time we're gonna put another bearing. But the thing that we're gonna do different this time is we're gonna add a spacer. So take that spacer, looks just like this, and put it on there. So that way, when you put this on, just like this, you'll press straight down, use the palms, straight down, all your weight. You'll hear it click in, and boom. You've got both bearings and the spacer in there. So your next step, all you have to do is take the nut, Start it on there. You're gonna to wanna to tighten it, but you don't wanna tighten it too much. If you push down too much, you're gonna press on that orange shield. And if you press on the shield, it can press down on the ball bearings. And then you end up with a brand new bearing that already needs replaced. So you wanna be cautious. Don't try to just cram it down in there. Don't try to force it on. Kinda of go a little bit slow. So you can see right here, there, there's not much room to really move back and forth. So I'll tighten down until I feel tension and then I'll go back about a quarter turn. So if I can do it and I can hear this to where there's enough room to move back and forth, for me that is the absolute perfect way for my bearings and wheels to be able to roll. So we're gonna do that four more times on all of our wheels to put all eight bearings on and we're gonna see how they spin after that. One of the best ways to instantly make your skateboard better is your bearings because when you have new bearings on, you don't have to push as much. You don't have to worry about losing speed when you're in a bowl or in a mini ramp. It's a lot easier to maintain your speed. So one of the best and easiest ways to instantly make your skateboard better is to check your bearings, whether that's cleaning them and putting them back on or going to your local skate shop, spending that 15 to $35 and getting bearings that are best for you. When it comes to bearings, they normally range between $15. They do go all the way up to about 90 if you want some of the ceramic bearings. I've had them, I don't see a huge difference in them. I'll just continue to purchase those $20 ones over and over again, and I can definitely tell the difference as soon as I set them up and skate them. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more content just like this. Like this video, it really does make a difference. And comment down below what other videos you would like to see us make. I'm super excited to get back on the ramp and do more tutorial videos, but on days like today, where it's 27 degrees outside, we've got to switch it up and do something different. So if there's something you want to learn about your skateboard, how to make it better, how to change certain parts or pieces, or even the history behind skateboarding, comment down below. I'll do my best to answer those and share those stories with you. Thank you guys, as always, thanks for hanging. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all things faith, family, and skateboarding. We will see you guys in the next video, and as always, thanks for hanging.